Some people, you know, will start showing up a little bit late, but that's okay. We'll get started. Um, just a few business items for you before we get going into math. Next week is a very short week. It is obviously Thanksgiving. And in the regular schools, you would be um, you would be off on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So basically, what you should do is plan on working like normal all day Monday and Tuesday. And then, you know, if you're home and you need to catch up on things, then maybe Wednesday and Friday you can um, kind of do that. But there won't be any new assignments for Wednesday and Friday and, of course, Thursday. Um, Next week, we will not have normal VCs, obviously, because Thursday's Thanksgiving. And then Monday, we won't really have enough new stuff to talk about. So what we're going to do instead on Monday is at 8.30 in the morning um, on Monday, if you have any kind of question, so you can have a question on a math problem, or maybe you're having problems getting onto the digital literacy site, or you know, just whatever it is, um, come into the virtual classroom on Monday and we can get those uh, problems taken care of. So, all right, are we all settled in our chairs and kind of got squirmies out and ready to go? Yeah. Okay, I have a, a question for you. I'm hoping that the answer is positive, but um, so a couple people, I, I don't think all of you, I'm not sure though, um, a couple people were having problems with the little Lincoln site yesterday. Um, raise your hand if you were having problems getting. I had, had a problem, problem this morning logging on. Okay, so that's so Jaden. When was the last time you logged on? You don't remember? Was it today, this morning, or did you log on yesterday, Jaden? I today, I think. Oh, okay. So it seems to be working for you. That's ah, that's so weird. Okay. But this okay. doesn't work on Safari. Oh, yeah, all right. Google Chrome. Okay, so Google Chrome. Has anybody tried? Um, has anybody tried using Firefox? I. I don't. But this doesn't work on my computer. computer. Okay, um, or Internet Explorer? Oh, uh, no. I, 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 I use my, my mom's computer. computer. Uh, okay, well, what do you usually log on with or whatever? Safari. Safari, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll send um, – I, I don't really have – I can't get in there and fix it. I, I just don't have that ability. But I'll send an email to the person and let her know that at least some people in the class, but not all – are having a problem um, logging in and then just I'll, I'll put you guys on that same email so that you can see that I sent it and if she replies to me um, then of course I'll let you know but oh goodness if things could just be easy but they never are so <laughs> okay so I will add that to my to-do list and as soon as we're done here I will send that email um, let's see what else I also sent you guys an email that looks like this. Well, once you click on the link, it looks like this. It's just a little um, winter party that we're going to have, um, RSVP form. And so make sure you only RSVP one time per family. And usually doing it from um, the student's account is better. So if you have a brother or sister, um, you know, as a family, choose one account and RSVP for all of you, okay, in the same family. So uh, basically what it is is on December 11th, we're going to get together at um, the office, basically in the gym, and we're going to eat and share family traditions and play games. Um, our theme this year is um, celebrate your family heritage so you can bring any food or games or folk tales or trinkets that kind of represent your family heritage around the holidays. So maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe you're German and you make a certain type of cookie every Christmas. Um, like my heritage, my mom is Italian, so we make all these little Italian cookies and stuff. So um, just think of that kind of thing. 
Some people even dress up in traditional attire, but that's definitely not required. Um, yeah, go ahead, Tyler. Where is this? It's at uh, Cantrell. Um, so if you go to, you know, like where you signed up and everything, there's a gym inside that building. Um, but yeah, I, maybe I could actually edit this and put the actual address. It's down in Castle Rock. So, um, Can you email that to me? I did. It should be in your email. Okay. So, okay. So anyway, that's just kind of my business items before we get started. All right. Any examples of math in real life? I will start that conversation off. Um, at the museum on Tuesday, I don't think it was any, oh, I think there's one person. <laughs> uh, there were some people who had RSVP'd yes, but didn't show. And so it changed um, the numbers and the cost, basically. But we worked it out and whatever, it's fine. But that was an example of math in real life. Like I had to recount. I had to d do a division problem, actually, and figure out the new cost divided by how much money was given to me. So, yeah. Any other examples that you've come across in your last week? Mm, nothing. No? Okay. Well, just kind of keep those things in the back of your mind as you... Oh, hold on. We went, we went to, to the, the pet, pet groomers. Okay. And what happened? Oh, my, oh, my mom, mom paid for, for, for crystal, crystal sweater. Oh. So did she have to um, do some addition, subtraction? What did she do? She, she kind of had to estimate... Oh, good. Yeah, she had to estimate the cost, I'm sure. Um, do you tip people at the groomers? What? what? Do you give people a tip? You know, like in a restaurant, um, you give your waitress yes. a tip. So, yeah, um, sometimes you have to calculate the tip for different uh, services in the world. So, you know, just kind of one of those examples of math in real life. All right, guys. What we're going to do today, we haven't had a whole lot of new content, so we're going to just practice kind of what we started last week, which was the multiplying and regrouping, and then, um, so basically, two and three digit numbers. And then I, I looked, know. yeah, yeah, and some of you are really getting good at it, but then there's some of oh, you in my practice, practice on my website. website. Oh, fantastic. Look at you, Vera. I'm going to each day. Look at you. Well, good. Um, but then there's some of you who would maybe benefit from learning a different way. And so I looked up this um, lattice multiplication because it's, it's not something that I was ever taught. But it is another strategy that sometimes... I don't use the lattice, lattice method. Yeah, I mean, a lot of kids use the regular, but sometimes lattice really helps people. So we'll, we'll look at both. But okay. Are we ready? Okay, yes. seeing some head nods. Okay, here we go. Multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers. This so this, easy. yeah, it's pretty easy. But you know, I mean, practice makes perfect. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of this one. We'll go a little slower this first time. Okay, here we go. So we. Oh, I think it changed the problem on me. We have 81 divide, or times 35. Sorry, I've just been working with division all morning, but 81 times 35. So I discovered I have other colors, by the way. I'm pretty excited about that. Who wants to tell me my first step? If I'm doing regular multiplication and I'm going to do the regular method, go ahead, Jaden. Um, okay, okay, so first you multiply the 5 and the 1. Yes, so if I drew like little arrows. Yes, this would be your first step. 5 times 1 is 5, 
And then, Jaden, my second step would be five times eight, which is? Um, 40. It's okay. It's all right. You guys got to get really quick. Yes, and then you need a placeholder. So I'm going to put my zero. And then... And three, three, times, times, three, times three times one. Three times one, which is? Three. And then? Three times eight. Which is? Twenty-four. Good. Now I have to add it all up. So we go ahead, Jaden. Five. Five times five plus zero is five. Okay. Ah, oh, stupid Dan. Okay. Um, five. But I did Um, zero plus three is three. Good. Uh, four plus four is eight. Good. Then it's up to two. Perfect. So my answer is 2,835. So we went pretty slow on that first one, but that's okay. Terrific. Okay, this problem is for you guys out there. 67 times 55. Go for Ooh. it. Hey, Mrs. Brunus, what's the problem? It's 67 times 55. Okay, just give you just a, and when you start getting an, an, an answer, put it into the chat. Okay. Barrow loves pink, so we will keep using pink today. Okay, so I got one person with an answer. Just want to give everybody a shot at it before I just... Okay. I don't know you know. Perfect. Okay, so now we got everybody, it looks like. Tyler's just finishing up. So perfect. Our first step is to take the ones okay. position and multiply the ones position. So five times seven. How about Will? Oh. Um, Thirty-five. Good. So I put a five here, and this is mm. regrouping. I have to carry my three. And my second um step would be to do the ones position times the tens. So five times six is 30, 30. plus three. 30, 35, 33. Good. Now, next step is to add my placeholder before I move on to um, the next digit. Okay, so let me erase these. So now my next step is to do five times seven again. So what's five times seven? 35. Good. And then I have five times six. 30. Plus three. 33. Good. Add it all up. And we get five plus zero is five. Eight. Good. Six. Three. Three. Perfect. That's a three. That's terrible. Awesome. So our answer would be 3,685. Correct. All right, guys. Give me a thumbs up if this is pretty easy for you. 
if you feel like you know um, the steps, basically, to doing regular multiplication. Jaden, is it hard? I can't really see you, Jaden. Um, maybe just sit up a little bit. Okay, thumbs thumbs up. All right, let's look for a different method. And this helps some people, and some people don't need it. But either way, I'm going to show you. Lattice, sorry. Lattice multiplication. A couple kids who were really struggling last week aren't here. <laughs> and this would probably really help them, but... Okay, so this is a really cool method for multiplying bigger numbers. It's a lot easier than the regular way. Well, that's, I mean, that's up to you as soon as we practice it. Um, before I show you the whole thing, I need to show you how to do some smaller things first. Basically, we're going to multiply easier numbers. So, you know, like right now we're doing two digit by two digit, and that's not as easy as one digit times one digit, right? So what we do is we're going to draw a box that looks like this, and we're going to put our tens number in the top box and our ones in the bottom. So it just kind of looks like this. So now, if we look at 2 hello. times 7, hello? I'm going to my dog, Coco. Oh, okay. Sorry. So if we look at 2 times 7, we would, if we do a simple problem like that, we would put the answer 14, we'd put the 1 in the top box and the 4 in the bottom box. So give me a thumbs up if that makes sense so far. Vero, is that easy so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah, 10's on top, 1's on the bottom, so 14. Okay, so now let's go on and kind of see it as it gets more complicated. So here's another one, 8 times 9. So if we put 8 times 9 in a lattice box, we would have the answer, 72, and we'd put our 7 in the top box and the 2 in the bottom. So then they're just going to show us a couple more examples, and I'll just kind of scroll down. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what you need to know. Let's look at the problem like 2 times 4. Obviously, the answer is 8, so the, you would put a 0 in the 10 spot because the answer is just simply an 8, which goes in the 1's box, okay? Okay, so we're getting it so far. But now, here's where it gets slightly more complicated. When you have the bigger numbers, like 14 times 56, here's how, and draw this out, just like you see on, on the uh, screen here, 14 times, you can imagine a little multiplication sign here, times 56. So I'll give you just a second to draw that. And if you draw this neat enough, then you'll have this model for later in case you want to use this method again over and over. Okay. Okay, so if you have it drawn out, let's look at our first step. The first step that we're going to do is take the tens times the tens. So basically, it's 1 times 5. What's 1 times 5? Five. 5. So you would put your 0 and then your 5. Go ahead and do that. Okay, now we do, the next problem is four times five. So what's the answer to four times five? 15. Uh, actually, four times five is 20. 20, yes. So you put your, your two in the tens box and your zero in the ones box. So go ahead and do that. I already wrote that down. Okay, perfect. So we have done the first step, and now we have to do the bottom column. Do you see these arrows? That's kind of showing you which numbers we're working with. So mm -hmm. now we do the easy one problem. Six. Yeah, one times six, which is six. six. So go ahead and put your zero in there. Your six. Anybody want to guess what the last multiplication problem you do is? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Four, Four times, times zero. Four times six, right? 
Oh. oh. Well. Do you see that? The four times six. And your answer is? 24. 24. Now I'll show you in just a second. I want to, Before I go on, I just kind of want to make sure. Does everybody have this on their paper ready? Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, cool. Okay, so now to get the actual answer, because you can't draw the box, and that's not your answer, um, you have to add these up. So you <laughs> add it up in, like using rows. Okay, so start up here. Actually, they want you to start at the bottom. Four plus nothing is four. four. So you just put a four right there. Look at this column. Do you see this column? They're adding zero plus two plus six. Zero plus oh, okay. six. How do we add this? See, look at the look at the arrow, Vero. See the start button right here. Okay. Here's the start. So what did we add? We added four plus nothing. See how there's nothing other than a four? And then we went up into the next column, and it's 0 plus 2 plus 8. Look at the arrow, how it flows down. 0 plus 2 plus 8. So then you write, I'm sorry, plus 6, sorry. And then your answer is 8. And then you go up to this next column, and you add 2 plus 5, which is 7. And then, of course, there's a zero there, so you don't even really need to worry about that. So what is your answer? 784. Give me a thumbs up if that made sense. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, um, the way that, you know, you're using lattice, or the reason, I should say, why you would use lat lattice multiplication is because instead of having to do two digit by two digit, it breaks it down and it does one digit times one digit at a time. Okay, so, okay, there we go. Let's do another problem. This one's slightly harder, but not really. So go ahead and set up your boxes. We're gonna have 247 times 38. So just go ahead and draw that out. It takes just a minute, but. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you have your box and the problem written out. <laughs> okay, I got a couple people paused, so I don't know what that really means. Um, huh. Okay, all right, good. So now we got to go into our very fur. Oh, wow. They, why did they just give it away? <laughs> That's all right. Let me start back up here with our very first step. What's seven times three? Seven times three is 21, right? So you should have a two and a one. Here, give me just a second. I'm gonna take a picture of this so that I could write on top of it. Okay, now I'll be able to write on it. Okay. So our first step is to do seven times three, which is 21, okay? Now we can do four times three, which is what? 12. Then we can do two times three, which is what? Anybody? Six. You guys gotta get fast at your multiplication facts. And now we're ready to go into the next um, column. So we have seven 
times 8. What's 7 times 8? Anybody know what 7 times 8 is? <laughs> Six. Thank you. So we would write our five and then the six. Now we have the problem four times eight. Tyler, what's four times eight? Four times eight is 32. Good. So I'm going to write a three and a two. And Will, what is two times eight? Good. So I'm going to write my one and then the six. Give me a thumbs up if so far this has made sense. Okay, yeah. perfect. Now I'm going to change colors. What was that, Vero? I've done this before. I, just, I kind of forgot. Oh, okay. Well, it's just another strategy for you. Um, you could even check when you do uh, regular multiplication. You could even check to make sure that you got it all right by um, doing lattice. So now what we need to do is start adding up our different rows. So just drop down your six, add up your new column on top, have this part done and then I'm going to show you what to do with this third column because it's um, you're going to have a remainder. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to have a 3, but where am I going to put that 1? I'm going to have to carry the 1. So I notice. In the column where the four is. Yes, you just put it in the very next column on top. Do you see how they carried the one? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can finish adding. One plus one plus six plus one. Are you sure? Nine. Yes. So now your answer, just read it from left to right like you normally do. 9,386. Yay! All right, so now we have two different strategies for um, multiplication. We have the regular strategy, and you just learned lattice multiplication. So both of them are very useful. Let's play a little game using our multiplication. And I don't care if you use lattice or regular multiplication. It does um, not matter to me, but you can um, choose the strategy that you like the best. Directions. We are going to travel around the world, but we have to solve math problems to do it, of course. So the journey begins and ends in London, and it has 30 stops along the way. I don't know if we'll get to all 30, but we'll get to a couple. Okay, here we go. Do you guys want to do multiplication of two-digit or three-digit numbers? Two? Okay, yeah, let's do two. That's fine. We could start with that. Oh, that's easy. Let's go back. That's that's way too easy. No, no. There we go. Here we go. Let's try three digit. Maybe it'll at least give us something challenging. There we go. So we need to get to London, from London to Paris. Please do the yeah. problem. 649 times 75. Go for it. As soon as you get an answer, I'd like to see it in the chat. Uh, people. Yeah, it's all right. You could talk to yourself. It's fine. <laughs> as long as you don't answer yourself.
Okay. Okay, I see some people just kind of hanging out. So does that mean you have an answer? I wrote it two different ways. <laughs> Oh, what do you think, Kitty? Are you enjoying multiplication? Yeah. Oh, the puppy is too. Yeah. I said multiplication is so much better than division. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so I got one answer. So let's go ahead and do this problem together. Let's do lattice first, and then we can do the regular way second. Because the regular way, um, no, they're, they're both easy. It's fine. Uh, Will, what is 9 times 7? Um, well, don't tell me your answer. I'm just asking you right now. What's 9 times 7? Yeah, I got 23. Oh, uh, actually, it would be 63. <laughs> So there's those multiplication facts for you, but that's okay. Four times seven, Jaden. Four times seven? Is 28. Good. Vero, six times seven. 63. I mean, 52. Uh, how about 42? Right? Oh boy. <laughs> Multiplication facts. Okay. Um, nine times five, Tyler. 45. Good. Will, four times five. 20. Good. Jaden, six times five. Count on your hands with your with your fingers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Perfect. Okay, now I need to add them all up. Okay, so what's 5 plus nothing? 5. What's 4 plus 3? Anyone? 7. Good. <laughs> what's 6 plus 8 plus 2? Well, what's 2 plus 8? 10, right? 10 plus 6, 16. Okay, so notice how I carried that 1. Vero, what is 1 plus 2? It's 3. 3 plus 2? 5. 5 plus 3? 8. 8. Okay, so that's that row. And then 4 plus nothing. So my answer is, guess what my answer is? 48,675. I got the same one. Oh, man. Did anybody get that one correct? That was stool. Oh, 48,600. What did I say it was? Forgot already. 75? <laughs> yeah, 75. It's 48,675. Perfect. Okay, guys, here we have another one, 816 times 46. We're trying to get to Stockholm.
Okay. Hi, kitty. Why are you so tired, huh? Why are you such a tired kitty? Okay. So I got some people with an answer coming into the chat. All right, let's go ahead and work it out together. I'm going to do lattice again because it's, I think it's kind of easy. I mean, it's one digit times one digit, um, but we could do it the other way too if you oh, prefer. Um, Jaden, what is four times seven? Twenty. Good, perfect. Hey, uh, Will, what is seven times six? Perfect. Vero, what is four times one? Four. Good. And Tyler, what is one times six? Six. Perfect. And how about um, Jaden again? What is eight times four? Thirty-two. Good. Oh, that wasn't Jaden who talked. Uh oh, well, that's all right. Um, let Jaden do this one. Eight times six. You smell like dog. Crystal. Forty-eight. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now we are ready to add up our answers. So. Two plus nothing is just two. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need to add six plus four plus eight. So six plus four is ten. Plus eight is what? Eighteen. Good. Eighteen. Carry that one. So what's one plus two? Three. Three plus four. Ah, I can't tell. I can't tell if you're with me. So everybody just kind of chime up. Okay, all right. It, it's actually seven. Three plus four is seven. And then seven plus eight is? 16. No, 15. 15. Yeah. Carry the one. I'm just one plus three easy. plus two. There we have, a, I'm sorry, not one plus three. One plus two plus four. I know it's seven. Go ahead, Jaden. Eight. This is um, seven. First, Eight. I would do the um four plus two, and that's six. Uh huh. Seven. Plus one is seven. Good. And then three plus nothing is just three. So what is my answer? Thirty-seven thousand five hundred and eighty-two. Let's check. Yes. I get the thing. I was wrong. Good. E R is location. Oh, wow. This is a big one. Um, hmm. Let me show you how to set it up so that it gets a, it's a little easier for you. Okay. All right. I know you regularly. What was the bottom one? Yes, you could do it regular, too. That is absolutely fine. The problem is 670 times 618. Okay, so you would set up three boxes on top. I'm going to need another row, three boxes on the side. Just kind of practicing a new skill today, lattice multiplication. 670, and then you'd put your 618 down the side. Here's your multiply sign. Split your boxes up into the tens and ones. I've done this before. Perfect. Two-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. 
Yeah, it well, it makes because even then, four digit numbers times four digit numbers. Fantastic, that's great. Let's just look at this one together. So, however far you got, that's that's totally fine, but we're kind of running out of time here because I, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Zero times six. Zero. Yep, zero and then. Yes, and then zero times one, all zeros. Zero times eight, good. All right, seven times six, Tyler. Seven times six is 42. Perfect. Vero, seven times one. Seven. Jaden, seven times eight. Fifty-six, right? You got it. Six times six, Vero. Thirty-six. Good. This is a quick little um, math facts test. Six times one, Tyler. Six. Good. Six times eight, Will. I don't know. Six times eight? Forty-eight. Good, you got it, 48. All right, we're ready to add up our answer. Oops, sorry about that blue line that just shot across the screen. Sorry about that. Okay, zero, just carry that down. What's zero plus zero plus six? Six. 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 Add this row up, everybody, and type it into the chat. That's zero plus zero plus seven plus five plus eight. 20. 20. Type it into the chat. Okay. This will be an easier way for me to tell who's talking and, and whatnot. Go ahead and add up this row and type it into the chat. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4. <laughs> Two plus two plus six plus one. Barrow, so don't let him distract you though, okay? Yeah. You still need to type in what's the answer to two plus two plus six plus four? Fourteen. Yeah. Now one plus four. Plus five. I'm gonna put her down. Six to me. I'm sorry, plus six. Yes, yeah, sorry. Ah. One plus <laughs> four plus six. One plus four is five plus six is eleven. Good. Now one plus three. Is four. four. Good. So what's your answer? Four hundred and fourteen thousand and sixty. So you would rewrite it as four hundred and fourteen thousand and sixty. Let's check our work. We got it correct. All right. Should we? Should we do one more hard one? Okay. All right. That's one fine. One. Oh. Six twenty-five times six eleven. You could do whichever strategy you want to do, but I'm going to show lattice again because it's. I could actually fit it on my screen. So. Six <laughs> Okay. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you should be working out the problem in whichever strategy fits you best. So we're about to go over it. Okay, got a couple answers, so this is great. Let's move a little faster. Five times six, Vero. Five times six. Okay, Vero is gone. And probably doesn't have her microphone on, but I'm just going to tell you that it's 30. These are multiplication facts, guys. Your one digit times your one digit that you just need to I did memorize. Seven. All right. Five, two, times. five times one is five. Five times one is five. Okay. Two times six is 12. Two times one is two. And then two times one is two. Six okay. times six is 36. Six times one is six, and six times one is six, uh, six. And I skipped this box on accident. There we go. All right, we are ready to add it all up and see what our final answer is. So here we go. Five plus nothing is just five. Five plus two, Tyler. Five plus two is seven. Hey, Will, what is zero plus zero? Zero. Okay, so then what's two plus zero plus six? Eight. Good. All right, Jaden, what is three plus two? Five. 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 And five plus six? Five. Five plus six is 11. Okay. Here we go. One plus one is two plus six is eight. And then of course we just carry that three down. And look at our answer, 381,875. So three, eight, one, eight, 75. All right, final answer. Let's type it in and, and check it out. Awful day. What was that? That was a mouthful to say. Yes, it was. That was a mouthful. Absolutely. I already forgot my answer. 381, three, okay. 381875. And we got it. Perfect. All right, guys. Give me a thumbs up if today was helpful for you. Maybe learning a new strategy is, you know, going to make it a little easier because you can work with one digit times one digit if you want to, um, or you can do it and that's totally fine as well. Um, all right, so just remember that if you have any questions, come to the virtual classroom on Monday morning. Um, it could be a question about anything really. I mean, you know, a math problem or whatever, but um, if not, then I will see you the following week and have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye. 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 funny. My dogs are fighting a sock. Oh no. Well, your dogs are fighting a sock. It's like Bad my dog. Mom. Okay, we'll see you later guys. Bye. Bye.